我们的第一位的演讲者啊，是来自由张医生来介绍，好吧？谢谢刘主任。啊，接下来因为比较复杂，所以我自己介绍。那么今天这个这两天的会是影视美公司要那个国际矫正职业协会来协办，所以我们每次在办活动的时候，每一年我们都有一个叫做院士报告。那因为过去十年所有的院士报告都是要用英文演讲，可是这一次的官方语言是中文，但是我们觉得它不能例外，所以它英文。但是我们还是要求他还是要用英文演讲，否则对以前的院士不公平，这样可以吗？为了公平起见，所以接下来的八分钟，八分钟一到他就不能再讲了。我们的规则是只能讲八分钟，接下来两分钟让各位挑战，你有办法，他有办法接受挑战，他才能够当院士，没有办法就是那那只好明年再来。那我们就把舞台交给你，掌声鼓励一下。Thank you, Dr. Bob. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Eric. Today I'm going to show you an Invisalign implant combined case. This is one of my first five Invisalign case. It's not perfect, but I do learn a lot from it. A 30-year-old male came to my clinic. His chief complaint was spacing and the gummy smile. Besides, his lower lateral incisor was congenital missing, and he had a convex profile. Most importantly, he wanted to fix this problem with Invisalign. So, I plan to close this space with Invisalign. In true upper incisor for gummy smile curation, put implant to restore the lateral, and then recheck anterior teeth to improve his profile. Now, let's see if that works. Month zero. The third month, the seventh month, all space will close as I planned. After he finished all 25 aligners, everything went well. He said, I didn't have enough space to put in plan. First refinement started at 13 months. I did IPR on anterior teeth to create more space and use power ridge for incisor torque control. Five months later, I had enough space both sides. It's time to take the next step, implant. I plan to put a 3 by 10 millimeter Nobel active implant and a GBR to increase the bone volume. After you break through the bone, you have to, uh, you have to be careful with the duration of your drill because there's no resistance on buckle side. Your implant might be too liquid inclined. Insert implant slow and steady to prevent buckle bone from fracture. Two millimeter buckle bone guarantees the long term success. Since the uh, implants were in the available housing, we can expect a good result of GBR. Resolvable culture membrane, then primary culture with Gotes 5 4 suture. This is one week after surgery, and the second refinement began. I want to improve the posterior occlusal contact and the true upper incisor a little bit more. Six months later, I took an impression and fabricated his final restoration. There is no Dagonia abutment for 3 mm Nobel active implant, so the color didn't uh, uh, match perfectly, but it looks fine when it's mild. Now comes the most difficult part of orthodontic treatment, retention. This is Dr. Holy, you know, the guy in the Holy Retainer. He said, if anyone would take responsible for his patient's retention, you gladly give them half the fee. Because the retention is not about you, it's about the patient. It's something beyond your control. Okay, first, you need to fix retainer for cases like this. And I use Vivera, a custom-made clear retainer from Invisalign. Compared to traditional clear retainer, it's more rigid, more precise, more comfortable, and more beautiful. See, I bet most people won't notice he wears retainer. 
This is a final result. I told him there's something I can do to make his occlusion better, but he was very satisfied with his teeth now. I cannot force him to do another refinement. Still, I want to know how these flows took place and how to fix it. I noticed this open by problem long before. This bothered me the entire treatment course. This is weird because in my current check, there should be no movement or posterior teeth. Then what is wrong? Ironically, the answer is not about what is wrong, it's about what is right. In order to correct Gummy's smile, I in two upper incisors. That is right. In order to have enough intrusion, I did over correction, and that is right. Which I don't realize is when I achieve no more overbite as I planned, also means premature contact on incisors. This is my first revelation. Always aware of this is not your final occlusion if you do overcorrection. Then I come up with this solution. Use horizontal gingiva bevel attachment to bring this teeth down. This is the current check. Even though I used the attachment in this refinery, only little improvement was made. The tooth movement assessment told me one of them is predictable and the other is moderate movement. Then how can I fail to bring these teeth down? Okay, this is my second revelation. This TNA system evaluates tooth movement individually. But when these tooth movements happen at the same time, it might be more difficult than we expect. So if a patient is willing to take another refinement, I will move these tubes one by one. Next thing bother me is the root angulation of the lower left central incisor. One day I was checking his implant photos. Then I had a moment of clarity. This attachment was not parallel to a long axis. You see the difference? I think that's the problem. So I changed the attachment position in its second refinement. It looks promising, yet I fail again. Why? Well, sometimes you need to look at things from a different perspective. This is, hers, uh, this is his cephalometric tracing. And if you look closer, Turns out the root tip of the central incest hit the cortical bone. I think that's why my refinement didn't pay off. And if I add more lingual root talk before I move these tubes, I believe I can solve this problem in no time. Uh, my parents sent me to a piano lessons when I was a kid. To tell you the truth, I hate piano lessons. Because my teacher judged me only by how many mistakes I make. I never find joy of playing piano, only pressure. So don't do that to yourself. Don't judge yourself by how many mistakes you make. Find a clue, solve a problem, crack a case. That's the way you enjoy being an old dentist. And that's the way you enjoy this Invisalign technology. I would like to thank Chris, my mentor, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, you are the reason why I like orthodontics, and you are so much better than my piano teacher. <laughs> Thank you.